Hello, guys. Peace. I'm Rowan. And I'm Miguel. And today, we are going to be doing Cursed Scratch Blocks Part 2. <laughs> because the first one popped off and we need more clout. Yeah. Um, so, speaking of clout, make sure to join the Discord. Um, Link is in the description. Really Ends in our bio. Um, so we're going to be creating a new project, and we're just going to try to find cursed blocks. So before the recording started, me and Miguel were just messing around, trying to think of what we could do. And I just typed in, you may remember it's from the last video, instead of 15. Now what's different about this is because before, it was a, like, it was like a little box. But this, because it, we had to copy it from the search bar on the front page of Scratch, I just straight up typed it in here. I wasn't expecting it to do anything. And when I clicked OK, let's see what happens. So it takes a little bit after you click OK. Like, it's, it's like taking a long time. So I was like, why isn't it working? And then this happens. OK, so basically, it is not working. Literally, it's not working. So let's see. We'll find X out. So yeah. OK. X out. Uh. This happens. All of the blocks are, j are jumbled up in one spot. Like, I can't even, like, move at all. They're just all in this one spot. Like, no matter where I go. And, like, I, I have no idea why this even happens. So, like, if we were to make a sound. Oh, uh, wait. No, I can't do that. Uh, no, I can't do that. Um, and I just uh, take this and I name it percent 15. Mm, one, five. Oh, wait. What? Why is my one key not work? Alright. And it fixes it if you do that. Um, that's pretty cool, actually. But what if I delete it? Still there. So yeah, if you just make a block called percent 15, you literally don't have to do anything special. And you click OK, and you exit out. Everything will be broken. There's no way to fix it unless you go into a different tab, and then you come back, and everything will be back. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, okay, for on this website, guys, we will send the link in the description. You can actually make your own scratch box. So as you can see, this is my scratch box. So, like, we're going to say... This so, is Monkey Man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, so now you can see this is our name. We can change it to High Contrast, or we can do Scratch 2.0. Speaking of High Contrast... Oh! Okay, okay, look, we can change the language... Uh, I think we can right. change the color. Right. Wait, would would this actually work? Oh, guys, this actually won't work on Scratch 3.0. It will only work on Scratch 2.0 projects. But it will literally put your own custom block in to Scratch, and it will actually look really cool. So, uh, yeah. On to the next thing. Now, if you come here onto Scratch, um, you may be wondering, how did you guys get this dark mode? So you're And also, how did you get those cat blocks? Yeah, how do these blocks look like a cat? So, uh, you're going to want to go onto Chrome Extensions. Then you're gonna don't click on this. Go go to the Chrome Web Store, and you're gonna search up Scratch Add-ons. The first, the very first one you see. Don't click any of these else. You're gonna see this. The very cool thing about Scratch Add-ons is that Griff Patch himself actually worked on these games. So um, I mean, Griff Patch himself actually worked on Scratch Add-ons. So. Um, him and a bunch of other people made scratch add-ons so that you can um, customize everything in your scratch so like you may want to uh, change it from scratch add-ons is so diverse you can even change it to look from scratch 2.0 to 3.0 you can also quickly check your messages and mark them as red if you want to so here, if you're on uh, Google Chrome, it'll look at it a little different, but I'm on Opera GX. Um, so up here, there's a little puzzle piece if you're on Chrome. And you click the puzzle piece, 
and then you'll see something called scratch add-ons you're gonna click it and this pop-up will pop up <laughs> um there's a bunch of different options but this isn't all the stuff you see so if you're looking for something specific like you want to change the colors or the theme you just search up theme and you can find the customizable block colors so let's say i wanted the motion to be um, white this blue i want it to be white now if we go to the motion blocks wait now if we go to the motion blocks you can see they're white obviously you're not going to be able to read it very well because um the text is white but you can change the if you scroll down you can change the text color right here to black so look now the text is black or we could do um colored on black background so now it's just like this or colored on white background so now all the blocks look like that but uh i i actually prefer uh white text over the black text um you can change the motion so like i'm just going to change it to red because me personally i like how it looks um for like looks i'll change it to blue and it's kind of cursed looking right <laughs> so this usually would be in motion but it's, I mean, in looks, but now it looks like it's in motion. So that's pretty cool. My favorite extension is called the, <clears throat> my favorite extension is called the block palette category icons. And if turned on, you will see that the things look like little symbols, which I think is really cool and really fun. Obviously I haven't explored scratch add-ons that much for this to be my favorite one. But I think it's really neat because it makes me feel more mathy and stuff, especially with the variables and the operators. Another cool thing is that you can actually turn on this thing right here. It's called HD Image Uploads. So if you go here, you now see this um, option. If you click this and you click something, you can now see that the image won't automatically convert to bitmap and it won't turn all pixelated. Now we have this higher quality, obviously it is still pixelated, but it's a higher quality than this, um, which you can, you can definitely tell the difference. Like if I were to zoom in here, look, can you guys tell me if you see the difference between this and this? You can definitely see how the pixels are way bigger. So it just makes it a higher quality image. Definitely not HD, but still high quality. Um, now... If you guys are enjoying Scratch add-ons and want a close-up tour, then, uh, ha then comment down below that that's what you want, and we may make a separate video on Scratch add-ons. Alright, so what's the last one? That's it. Is it? Thank you guys so much for watching, and you guys definitely use some Scratch ability. Bruh.